What is it that makes 3AM just so scary? And I'm referring across history, not just those sensationalized 3AM videos. Is there some rational explanation? Or is it truly just the devil's favorite hour? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is William, and for the past two years, I've been a real life paranormal investigator. Thank you for stopping by, and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for more of our future uploads. Having said that, let's get straight into the main topic of this video. Over the course of history, 3AM has gained a reputation for being the hour that paranormal activity spikes up. The witching hour, which is believed to be the time of night when most supernatural events occur. But how did it gain this reputation, and why? Well, to answer that question, we have to look at 3AM's original name, The Witching Hour. That's right, 3AM's history is tied heavily back into witchcraft. In fact, this superstition can be tied all the way back to 1535, when the European Catholic Church banned citizens from going out from the hours of 3AM to 4AM due to rising tensions about witchcraft in Europe. Having said this, what exactly is the timeline of events that led us to think about 3AM how we do now? Starting from the beginning, the original belief that 3AM was a unholy hour originally stemmed from the Catholic Church all the way back in 1535. Their belief was that witches were casting spells from the hours of 3AM to 4AM. Fast forward to the late 1600s, during the Salem Witch Trials, when widespread fears about witchcraft swept through Europe, only reaffirming the fears that the Catholic Church had pre-established years and years ago. The date of 1535, however, is just word of mouth. These beliefs wouldn't be physically documented until the 1775 grimoire, Night and Ode, by Rev. Blake West, which spoke about the coming of evil in the night. It was only six years later that this famous drawing was released in 1781, depicting a demon visiting a woman in the night, presumably at 3 a.m. Moving forward, there wouldn't be any major developments regarding the rumors about 3 a.m. all the way through the 1800s. In fact, there wouldn't be any major developments until the mid-90s, more specifically, 1953. 1953 was the year of widespread sleep research all across the U.S., which ultimately led to the discovery of the circadian rhythm and REM sleep, which to put it simply is the body's natural cycle of waking up and falling back into deep sleep. And if this cycle is disturbed, it can lead to some, well, odd side effects. This discovery led people to speculate that all the stories about 3AM from the years past were just people waking up discombobulated from having their circadian rhythm disturbed. Despite the scientific breakthrough, people's belief regarding 3AM remained firm and would stay untouched for many years. This was until 2017, when 3AM challenge videos began popping up all across YouTube, and by the midpoint of the year, these videos were sweeping the internet. Now, in all honesty, these videos were extremely fake and cringe, but there were a couple main culprits to this, some of those channels being Guava Juice, NNA Productions, Ruby Rube, and of course, J Station. Despite how frankly terrible these videos were, their effect on pop culture is undeniable. Ever since this trend swept YouTube, almost everyone on the internet still continues to live under the belief that 3AM is a cursed hour. And that leads us to today, 
The 3AM challenge video trend is a distant memory, however the effect it left is undeniable. Despite how much evidence we have pointing to the contrary, everyone continues to believe in the story of the Devil's Hour. Now that we've gone over the history of things, let's try and look to science for an explanation as to why 3AM is so scary. Have you ever woken up late at night with no real explanation as to why? Well, some people would theorize this is a demon or spirit visiting you. And as a paranormal investigator, I may be inclined to believe those people. However, in reality, this is likely due to human sleep patterns. The later on at night it gets, the lighter we sleep. This is due to the body's natural inclination to wake up early in the morning. In some instances, the human body will wake up too early and end up awakening around the hours of 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., explaining the undisturbed awakening in certain individuals. While that does explain one odd aspect of 3 a.m., it doesn't explain how even when we are awake around these times, we can end up feeling weirded out or creeped out in a certain type of way. To answer that question, we need to look to human psychology, more particularly the placebo effect. Thanks to the reputation 3AM has built for itself in regards to being cursed, this can lead the average person to feel scared during this time because of its perception. Harvard observed an interesting relationship between medication side effects in the human brain. If an individual with no prior knowledge is to be told that a certain medication has a side effect of intense headaches, the likelihood of that individual reporting headaches later on increases significantly, even if that medication doesn't even cause headaches at all. This phenomenon has been dubbed the placebo effect. There may not be anything inherently cursed about 3AM. It could just be the fact that people are told it's cursed that makes them feel as if it's cursed. And that brings us back to our original question. What makes 3AM so scary? Is it just simple human psychology? Or is the answer much more sinister? Well, like most things in life, the answer most likely lies in the middle. However, I can say from my own experience as a paranormal investigator, that activity does tend to spike up around these times. Although as a skeptic, I'd say that the explanation for these phenomenons is much too strong scientifically to rule out. So I'll just say that the answer likely lies in the middle of paranormal and just normal. Thank you all so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I truly do appreciate it. Over the next couple weeks, I have a ton of investigations and videos pump out for you guys so stay tuned for that and until then see you on the next one